Hello everybody, it's Mastrath here and welcome! Welcome to a video that I don't think many people thought that I'd be doing this early um, into 2022, but welcome to us taking a quick look at the new Swords and Sandals games demo. Yes, this is the demo for Swords and Sandals Immortals, the sixth main series game. Uh, essentially, the original title for this was Swords and Sandals 6. Um, so, yeah. Um, I know this is probably going to get uh, a few new watchers onto my channel. Uh, for people thinking about this and everything and looking at it. So, to the new watchers, hello, I'm Mastrath. I'm a YouTuber of nearly 15 years. Been uh, making uh, gaming videos for about 12 of them on one channel and then moved them all over to a different one. Uh, and I have played pretty much all of the main Swords and Sandals games uh, apart from the Redux versions. Um, and they've all been uploaded to YouTube apart from Swords and Sandals Pirates, which will be released later this year. Speaking of things that are being released later this year, this game in May of 2022 in early access. But the demo is currently available. You can essentially take on uh, and beat the first two regional championships. But then after that, the uh, the game ends because that's the end of the demo. So yes, probably about three months and we get the, uh, well, the early access uh, game on that one. Um, so yeah, let's let's check out some Swords and Sandals Immortals and see what we're going to get into when I eventually let's play this. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to be playing through the entirety of the demo here. Also, my favorite track in the game already. <laughs> it is like when I when I um, when I heard this during the during the trailer for this back last year, I loved it. Honestly, I think I think it's a brilliant theme for this game. Uh, so, pretty much the story around this is this is sort of a sequel to uh, Swords and Sandals 3. Uh, what a lot of people say is their favorite Swords and Sandals game, or what a lot of people would say is the most diverse Swords and Sandals game, um, which I certainly agree on when it comes to that. It may not be the best game in the series, that is two at the moment, um, but it's certainly the most diverse with stuff that you can do. And this game pulls essentially a lot of good things from Swords and Sandals 3, which is great. Um, I hope it doesn't pull the Yeti Project as well. Actually thinking about that, I'm fine with that. I've beaten the Yeti Project now. I didn't during my first playthrough, but I did on Stream. So there you go, on Twitch last year. So, let's start. So, essentially the plot point of this game is you have to try and train yourself hard enough for the arrival of the Starbound Gladiator. This game has a time limit. Uh, a 300 day time limit to try and power yourself up as much as possible um, before the Starbound Gladiator arrives, who is the quote-unquote final boss of the game. I'm not sure whether it's an instant game over once the Gladiator arrives, like um, a Majora's Mask kind of thing when the moon arrives, or whether it's just simply then you have to go and do a battle. But regardless, we won't know as of yet anyway, uh, because, well, I guess you could, pro you could probably find out in the demo, but you just need to keep fighting gladiators for 300 days, and that takes a while to do. I might actually do that, just to just to see what happens when the 300 day limit is up. Then again, it is the demo, so it could literally be anything. Anyway, so, let's start a new campaign. Of Swords and Sandals, there you go, Swords and Sandals 6! Yes! It's there, the Starbound Gladiator. It is the year 640 CM. Four decades have passed since the automatons Mysterious robotic aliens from un of unknown origin left our world. Now they have returned, pursued by a devastating enemy known as the Starbound Gladiator. Once hailed a hero, he departed our world to fight amongst the stars. Something happened out there in space to turn him to the darkness. For in just 300 days, he will return to Tritonia with destruction his only goal. Only a single gladiator may face him in battle for the fate 
of the world. So, yes, this is based off of the, pretty much the finale, um, the, um, the epilogue of uh, Swords and Sandals 3, where your creator character goes off into space to fight alongside the automatons. So the main character of Swords and Sandals 3 that you are playing turns evil and turns into the Starbound Gladiator. Oh, formerly Pete. It was only about time before you um, saw yourself become the villain, right? But with that, a new gladiator must fight. So, we have obviously all the different species here that we've seen in the more recent Swords and Sandals games, like Fey, Kragite, Clergish, uh, Halion, Glamazon's back, um, which is great. Uh, the Undead um, are here. We've got Yeren, uh, we, which I believe are the Yeti. The original Yeti, around that point. But some of these are not available as of yet, but will be launching in May. Uh, Golem? I quite like the look of Golem, to be honest. Floralisk, Sage and Blob. <laughs> Sage and Blobs are back. And damn, the Hexapods look good in this game. Look at that. Cool, giant uh, insectoid warriors. Love them. Okay, so let's just go for a basic human. Uh, to kick off, uh, I'm not really going to be making much when it comes to... Or, or much detail when it comes to this. So let's just go with... Um, yeah, let's go with the Kragite. Why not? Uh, facial features. <laughs> they got a six scar. Yeah, go on. We'll do that. We'll do that with just... Uh, this guy's not going to be canon in my Swords and Sandals universe. We'll go with him. He'll do. Uh, Pale Git. There you go. That's your name. Your taunt quote shall be... I need sun. And your victory quote shall be... Um... Get the sunblock, mum. There you go. And then we've got our heights here. You can do it in Imperials, but I prefer, essentially, feet, inches, pounds. So, we'll go with that. Um, there you go. He's going to be a big, beefy boy. There you go. And the voice of them. There we go. So, we've got all these voices, um, which I believe are... Essentially, a lot of people uh, that helped with the voice on the game, I believe. Yeah, criticals in this game. So, there you go. I still have the better character than his, to be fair. Um, that's that's just me. And uh, you can also change the voice pitch as well. Let's make it really low. Okay. So, we have pretty much six six different classes to choose from here we have the priest devout and pious defender of the faith uh plus one bonus stamina plus one bonus intellect unshakable faith so essentially i believe do they all have three no so some of them are slightly more powerful statted than others uh but some have extra abilities pretty much sort of try and average them out at the moment so that's fair enough uh so warrior plus one bonus strength plus one bonus attack uh, Battle Forge, maximum total health increased by 10%. Warrior Strike, devastating critical hit that does uh, 18 damage. I'm going to go with the Warrior because I usually... Actually, no, do I go with the Warrior or the Knight? I do. I did go for the Knight last time. So let's go with the Warrior this time. Yeah, I have gone through the demo already. Um, but I wasn't recording at the time. A bit early it was. It's, um, quarter past seven now, so there you go. We'll go with the Warrior. Why not? So... Strength and attack. We do. We would like some vitality, though, with our primary stats, uh, which do all this stuff, which you can see on screen here. Uh, what I usually use, or what I used last time, and what I'm going to use for this demo, is strength, vitality, attack, and stamina. Stamina has a lot of uses here. Um, because of how this game plays, stamina is a lot better uh, than what it has been in previous Swords and Sandals games. A lot of, on a lot of occasions, I just wouldn't use stamina, or wouldn't upgrade stamina at all. And during the demo, I did, at least. Anyway, the tale of pale gits begins. 
Uh, yeah, so I, I, I seek glory and power. There we go. Um, so, what do we choose for our rewards? So, potion. Pretty obvious, we get five level one potions. Restores 50 health. That's alright, but, um, if you have, uh, a lot of health, then you can just rest yourself to get health instead. Um, I'm gonna take the gold here. Um, so we're here at Willard Sound, which is the first area in the game. Essentially, it's a... Well, it's all like a dock, pretty much, with like maybe a small field. Um, we've not yet gone on an adventure. I don't think we can in Willard Sound, but we can in the next area. Um, and we have not defeated the regional champion. Yes, not an arena champion, a regional champion. There are a load of champions in this game. Also... 300 days until arrival, we also have the Fight Selector, 386DX of the Automatons, who come back to help us out. So yes, we're going to be uh, trying to defend the world from the Starbound Gladiator that will arrive in 300 days. So, with the demo, that doesn't seem too bad, because there's only like two regional, uh, two regional champions you got to fight. But, this game got a lot of champions in it, at least it will do when it gets released. Um... So, yeah, it, there's going to be a quite a big time limit on this game, so you really do not want to be losing. So yes, I need sun! Also, we're against our first opponent here, not the Fearful Prisoner, because the Fearful Prisoner, well, died in Swords and Sandals 3, but also was an arena champion in Swords and Sandals 3, so we're now against Bruce the Useless, a Gunterian rogue with no stats. I wonder what happens if you actually lose the uh, if you actually lose the tutorial fight. So same as usual, um, like in it's very similar to uh, sort of Swords and Sounds Five Redux uh, when it comes to this, but obviously a lot more. There's no charge option in this game, which well, no, actually no, there wasn't in Five either. Okay, no, nah, that's that's fair enough then. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that. I think. Yeah, you get the leap of the lion. That's the ability, I think. Anyway, yes, we have broken your we have broken your pants. Okay, so with these attacks, you can attack parts of the body. As you can see here, we've got our armor sets. So we have a bit of armor. Anything that's blacked out, they have no defense in it. If you hit it, if you hit uh, an well, pretty much a body part that has armor on it, you'll hit the armor. Which lowers this armor score if you hit it. If you hit something that's blacked out, you go straight for blood and health. And there you go, we've defeated Bruce the Useless. He was certainly useless. We got a lot of experience and 108 gold, plus a star as well. Stars are useful for learning stuff, uh, like learning new abilities. You know, yes, he had no business being here today. But with that, we can level up! Bro! We grow more powerful. Indeed we do. We are now level 2. So let's get ourselves some attack. And I'll get myself some more vitality, I think. Great power flows through you. Yes, it has the Sword of Sounds 3 uh, talent tree. Which is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, we've got Arcane, which is uh, for like some mages and wizards and stuff like that. Theatrics, good for like, um, pretty much. A lot of these are based off of Sonic Attacks, which is the uh, taunt, <laughs> excuse me, the taunt damage attack um, from previous games. There's also Taunt Mastery as well, uh, and Acrobatics for jumping. So pretty much anyone with a bow, or if you just upped Charisma so much. That's the that's the talent tree for you. Arcane, magic, pretty much. Um, survival is essentially defense from things like poison protection, necromancy protection, um, defensive techniques. Uh, so boost your powering ability with melee weapons. So quite good. But we are going to go for um, the warfare since we are uh, a warrior after all. So it's probably best we do that. And we do have a sword right now. But I'm going to... Probably pivot into axe. There you go. Increase damage done and hit with axes by 6%. So 
So now it's a six, which is quite good. <laughs> 299 days until arrival. I, I'm, I know that when the game comes out, that's gonna be quite frightening. <laughs> Especially, especially if you lose, because I know if you lose in this game, um, then you essentially lose a day. You don't die, but you lose a day, which could, you could really need, to be honest. Right, so we have the weapon merchant here that's now available. <coughs> and we can get ourselves an axe. Uh, like, for example, a hatchet. Which deals 12 damage over our shank that does 5. So that's fine. I mean, we'll take this hammer. Or well, this, this, this hatchet. Also, you can't sell your shank. Can't sell your shank. So, Gulam de, Long de Loungeville. This, this dapper chapper here. Um, yeah. Thank you, I guess. Oh, one, one thing I will say about this game, first off, is that my recording software doesn't work with it. Uh, if it's in full screen, so oh, I guess you, I guess you can just. There we go. Didn't think about that, did I? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'll probably have to just change the resolution on it and everything post. But yeah, never mind. It's mostly full screen. It's close enough. But yeah, for some reason, my software doesn't recognise it. Um, which. I, I, I don't know whether that's an issue with the game or my software, so there's nothing nothing about that at all. Um, anyway, so we go to our lovely f uh, friend, the fight selector, who's just chilling here, just just just, just chilling. And uh, yes, we need to win four more battles to challenge the regional champion. Okay, Rakimir, let's fight you, you Ooh, dogman, Klurgish. Need son. Indeed you do, Pale Gits. You definitely do. You're paler than the original Kragite. Oh, you got an axe as well. We are now axe and sandals. That's the game. Right, so, this guy's got no armor. We can also see his stats as well and his abilities, which is quite nice. And we can see ours. So, obviously attack him in the legs because that's got the most chance to hit. Uh, oh, nice try. Okay. How about use, I use my ability? Warrior Strike! Yes! Okay, so here's a new uh, mechanic in the game. Stress levels. These bars up here are stress levels. If they're in white, you're fine. If they're in purple, you're in trouble. And you need to try and lower your stress as quickly as possible. <clears throat> if you don't, it does the darkest dungeon mechanic. Where you then... If your stress gets too high, you will gain a permanent trait for the fight. Which, if, well, pretty much if your stress is high, it's going to be negative. If your stress is incredibly low, like you've been able to get consecutive hits and everything like that, I believe you get a, uh, a good uh, trait uh, for the rest of the fight. <coughs> so, yeah, it's, it's quite good, actually. Right, so... Um, I'm going to have to train up a little, actually, because I I fought this arena champion. Like, like, So, the two regional champions you can fight, I beat the first, uh, beat the second one uh, first time round, and it took me a good ten solid minutes to beat the first one, so, yeah. Um, there you go, take that. Oh, my pants have been broken! No! You fall on your... Last now. We are beaten. Jeez, that's too many G's. <laughs> G's! Look at all the G's. Okay. But yes, once you level up, you don't actually get experience as of yet. Um, you only get that at the end of a day. So again, that's to scale this whole 299 days till arrival thing. So, yeah. We can sleep. Arrgh! I'm awake now. Grow more powerful again. Okay, let's get... Let's get some attack. I want to be hitting more often. Uh, also, I'll take Axe Mastery, since we do have an axe. But yeah, so... Pre pretty much, this is going to look a bit different to everyone, but... Pretty much, if you played Souls and Sounds 3, 
then, you know, or five even, so it's pretty much that when it comes yeah. to that, so there you go. I'm guessing that most people that are watching this right now have actually played a Swords and Sandals game before. Uh, so, we have a lovely dummy here as well, which pretty much you can just punch with. But there is something else that you can do, which is the Simulcrum, but we can't do that as of yet. That is a new feature that will probably be coming when Early Access is released. So, we can just punch this dummy. There you go. You have been defeated, dummy! Yeah, that's pretty much all it does. So, if you want to sort of... Uh, try out new abilities without the possible chance of dying in fights. You can use that if you feel like it. If you do so wish. Okay. Let's take on... Let's take on Wellborn. You. You, I don't think, have any leg armor. So I can probably go straight for that. You do have some decent defense and vitality, to be fair. So there is that. Okay. Oh, okay. You're going for the sleep early. That's usually the play that I make. Stop making the play that I would make. Stop it. Now you're stressed. Your shoulder guard has been broken. Lovely. And oh, yep. Yeah, so that's now on. Uh, that's now on yellow. So your chest plate's not long for this world. It's gone. Your breast plate's gone. Cut your legs out from underneath you. Not literally, obviously. Even though that is in this game. But we've defeated you at least. That's very nice. Okay, I'm going to get myself some gold up. Mist Spawn. So yeah, all these, um, all these characters have their own abilities. And all these um, types have their own abilities. Like Undeads, for example. I don't think they take any sort of... Maybe any sort of like mental damage or physical damage when you essentially sever a body part. Which you can do in this game. Well, never mind, he died in one hit anyway, because he had no armor. We are victorious indeed, yes. Okay, let's have one more fight. Okay, so, uh, you have won enough battles here to face the, uh, the regional champion. I don't want to fight the, uh, them as of yet, because I'm a bit weak. And last time I tried, <laughs> at this level, the regional champion absolutely mauled me. So, I'd rather not, to be honest. Okay, we get to go on David the Fey Knight, who is stressed again. Oh no, my pants. Oh no, you. Just you. We are victorious indeed. Okay, now we'll level up. No point going to the weaponsmith during the night if you level up. Better to do it in the morning, because then you have more likely more options to choose from when it comes to buying stuff. Right, let's get a strength and vitality point here, and increase our axe mastery. Usually choose swords and axes, but obviously this game's got a lot of things you can do. You can go magic if you want, you can go bows. But with this, this now unlocks this lovely dapper gentleman. Look at him. But yes, he also has a harump as well. But yes, the armorer has now been unlocked. Right, let's get... Actually, I'll tell you what. Armor's probably more useful... Um, ...than weapons right now. Weapons don't really have much of an upgrade. But armament would be very useful. So we can... Okay, we can't get all of this. But we can get the majority of it. Okay, so let's get a cut purse hat. Immediately. There you go. Uh, let's get cut purse leggings as well. Lovely. Uh, let's get... Okay, so the cut purse shirt is quite a lot. Uh, the cut purse braces are not, so we'll take those. We'll take the noob shoulder guards as well while we're at it. And, yep, yeah, got enough money for a cut purse, a cut purse buckler. And we'll sell our noob shorts for 34 gold. So, yeah, basic shop mechanics for um, swords and sandals. Um, you buy an item, it sells for half the amount. Unless, I don't, I'm not sure if it's, if it changes through charisma like it usually does, but, you know, just have to wait and see uh, in May. Uh, but yeah, axes, we can now get a, a war axe. 
quite a, quite a big old weapon for this stage of the game. Uh, but for the moment, I'm going to. You know what, I'm going to give the I'm going to give the regional champion a go. He's he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me very much. But uh, it's worth a shot. We get to see the entrance of the first arena champion. Here is Huge Charles, champion of Willard Sound. Indeed. No head armor, no body armor either, so... I mean, there's a chance, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Nice Dwayne Johnson tattoo there. Right. Yeah, you got a lot of health. Yeah, come towards me. Right, hit you in the head. Ah! Ah! Uh, okay. Torso then. Nope. Parried. See, I'm now stressed. But so is he. So that's fine with me. Stop getting parried. I think I just need a rest. Just try and lower my stress levels. They are now calm. Yep, yeah, that's a sonic attack. Come well, on, this guy doesn't hit anything. Attack his legs. There you go. Pants broken. Now I can just chop away his legs. Because you, your legs now have no defense. Oh! That's all good. I'm going to heal that. Smack you. Nope. You're just going to jump around. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to heal again. I'm going to heal again. Yeah, you jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Legs! Got you again. Nice. Yeah, walk in. Oh, breastplate's gone. Okay. Warrior strike. Yes, there goes your shoulder guard. You have no armor. It's time to chop this guy down to size. Hopefully. Nope, never mind. He got me with a powerful sonic attack. That's usually what happens. Yeah, <laughs> this first boss. <laughs> the first boss of the game is, a, to be honest, quite an annoying one. You think, oh, the first boss is going to be easy? Nope. No, it's not. Okay, so we just need a bit of training here. That's fine. No, I do not want to fight the arena champion as of yet. I shall take on everyone else but, like, you. We shall take on you, Mr. Mikchal? Mikhal? Mikhal, probably. Yeah, we just need to get some levels uh, and some money, I believe. Oh, I'm going to attack you in the arm. Here's your shoulder guard. Oh, my legs are in trouble. I'm now stressed. We have broken you, though. And defeated you. And gotten some nice money and a level up as well. Okay, let's do another fight. Just need to get some money here. Duncan, you shall be our next opponent. All right, Duncan. Decent power score there. Indeed we will. Duncan jumps, sort of. <laughs> sort of jumps. Unfortunately, you do not have much in the form of agility. I, however, have jabs at the legs. And I missed and dodged. And stopped shoving me. I'm going to be stressed out to hell here. There you go, finally. No, this isn't going well. Okay, so yeah. If you don't have enough uh, essence to use, your, uh, to use anything... You need to rest. You have no other option. Well, I guess you can use a use an item, but that's about it, really. Right, he has he has to rest. Let's just rest and get my stuff back. You also you're resting as well. Okay. Nope. I'm now stressed again. Jeez, this guy's a dodging machine, and he has a bow now as well. No, no, you don't. I can outrun you. I can outrun you, my friend. There you go. Ah, oh, missed. Well, you're resting. I have to rest as well. Stop running. Damn ranged attackers. There you go. That's some damage for you. Have fun with that. You're now no longer stressed. Doesn't matter. Oh! That's an issue. I keep doing that for some reason. <laughs> That's the yield fight button. 
That is the yield fight button. I'm not a big fan of the fact that it's there because I, it's it's because of previous Swords and Sandals games. I'm just so used to it being there, uh, or just uh, so used to exiting that being there. So yeah, I, I did that a couple of times as well in um, uh, in my first run through of this. Okay, let's get more axe mastery. Why not? Why not? Three hundred ninety-four days till arrival. Let's try the regional champion again. Let's try that. We got close last time. It was only a, a sonic attack that took us out there. So, we'll give it another go. There you go. We actually have more power score than you this time. For your charisma is huge. You have a lot of charisma. And vitality. And you missed. Nice. Straight. Into the Dwayne tattoo. Stop running away from me. Naha, you're healing. Good. There you go. There goes your pants. Oh, that's the sonic attack. I want to heal this. You're inspired now. That's not good. Oh, that's crit. Heal. Gotcha. 70. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm inspired now. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Avoided it. No. Nope. Oh. I need a rest. I need a heal. I need a heal. Oh, okay. I mean, I win if this hits. No, I don't because he had still had... Okay. Okay, he still had... Um, he still had his shoulder guard. Okay, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, no. GG. No, 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 no. Okay. I did not want you getting that shot off, mate. Ah. No. No. Stop running from me. Fine, I'll do a jump. Swipe diagonally in direction to jump. Boom. You're getting... Oh, God, you're going for another attack, aren't you? Nope, nope, nope. Cannot let that go off. Yes. There we go. Huge Charles has been defeated. Okay. There we go. Pale Dit, the champion of Willard Sound. You can claim two of these rewards here. Uh, not really using a clubbing weapon, so that's kind of pointless. Then again, I could sell it. Yeah, I could sell it, actually. Okay, let's, let's claim some stars and sell that. We will keep that, at least. We will, we will not have the healing. Okay, so... Moving onwards, the overview map is now available. We need now, now, bleh. we now need to move to Shackleford. Three days, twenty-three hours time to get there. Yes. Yeah, so not only is it the battles, but also traveling it takes time to get there as well. Okay, let's just go on an adventure. I'm just going to pick the first option. See what we get. Ah, nice. We got something good. We got six more stars. That's going to be useful later. Okay, so, we have the second champion to, uh, to take out, but we also have the Enchantress has also been unlocked as well. And uh, what the Enchantress does, you can learn some uh, arcane magic uh, from them, but also enchant weapons and stuff and alchemize, but that is all coming later. Oh, no, that one is fine, so I can alchemize... Oh, I, oh, I, oh, transmute stars into gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some gold. I probably won't need the stars, so I'll take, I'll take gold. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, well, let's uh, let's, let's go to the weaponsmith, shall we, and uh, spend some money, get some weapons. Uh, there's actually not something new for axes. Oh. That's a bit awkward for me. Okay. Uh, armorer. You've got something, surely. There you do. Okay, so we can get a cut purse hat, which we, I think we've already got. What, what would be nice, I'd say, if there's, there was like some sort of icon here that says if you already uh, have got that item equipped, just so you don't accidentally uh, get it another time, I'd say. 
Okay, so let's get some brigand sandals. Uh, ooh, brigand buckler might not be too bad. Yeah, that's really good armor, actually. I'll take that. We'll sell our noob buckler. And uh, that's a bit more. Oh, what else we got? Noob shoulder guards and a noob loincloth. Oh, no, it does have that. Okay, fair enough. Never mind. Oh, that's my armor. Yeah, it doesn't have that. Okay. Never mind. Let's get some brigand shoulder guards. Do we have anything for this? No, we just have the cut purse leggings, which I'm pretty certain we already have. There we go. Okay, well, best we can do right now. Um, I guess I'll fight someone. You, Protazzi. You shall fight Protazzi in the dead of night. Little five human knights versus the uh, Kragite warrior. Time to punch. Oh, good shot. Unfortunately, your armor is pretty weak at the legs. Sucks for you. Warrior strike. There goes your shoulder guard as well. Ah. Oh, I've still got this mace equipped. I don't want this mace. I mean, it worked fine there, but still, I don't want the mace. Next level reached, at least. Before bedtime. Yes, you also only have a certain amount of time every day as well. So that's something to worry about. So maybe you won't be able to uh, get everything done during the day that you want to. Okay, axe mastery up again. Because I'm going to be getting rid of the club for a better axe. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, let's sell my mace. Decent mace. It's good mace to be fair, but no. Nah. Not needed. I'd rather take this lovely pickaxe. Look at that. There you go. You've got a nice old pickaxe there. Goodbye, hatchet. We now have quite a lot of damage on our side, so we're, we're, we're sitting pretty right now. We are sitting pretty when it comes to this. We also have militia armor, but that's at level 5, which we are not right now. Yeah, what have we got? What brigand stuff we got? Shoulder guard, buckler. Shoulder guards, buckler, and sandals. Okay, so get braces. There we go. That works. We'll get rid of those. Why is this not equipped? Is my... Is my, uh... Have I got a two-handed weapon? Huh. Oh, yes, it is. It is a two-handed weapon. Okay. Should have known by the fact that he's holding it with two hands. Um, all right. Uh, that's, uh, that's fair enough, to be fair. I mean, it was it's quite a powerful weapon, to be honest. Okay, let's take on Oridly. Why not? Was that Horror Slayer I saw on there? Something like that. Ooh, guy's got a lot of vitality. Oh, I have a pickaxe. There you go. Now stab your legs or something. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh no, oh that is actually bad. Oh god, that is bad. Oh. Uh. Yes! There you go, your patch. Uh, nope, I no. Oh. Almost did it again there! Almost did it again. I think I'm getting used to that. Right, let's rest here. Oh, that's uh quite a lot of damage. Uh we'll rest again. Why not? Oh, that's my alarm going off. That's fine. I'm already awake. Cheers, but it's unnecessary. Okay, this guy's uh, putting up a good fight right now. It doesn't help that I'm missing all the time. There you go. That's a that's a bit of damage we want to see. Okay, one more of those, please, and we're go we're good to go. Nope. There you go. There you go. I stabbed your foot. Probably. Probably stabbed his foot and he died. We didn't die. He yielded the fight. Okay. Let's keep fighting. So, how many battles do we need? We need to win three more battles. Okay. Yeah. Horror Slayer. Let's check on you. So, yeah, all the undead seem to have very sort of. Metally, metally names. Jeez, your strength is huge. 
I want to end this quickly. You have so much damage. And a giant mallet. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Unless I can get away with this. I missed. <laughs> Brilliant jump there. Great jump from Horror Slayer. Okay, I can hit you in the head. I missed. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't have much of the form of uh, essence either. So, yeah. Okay, Warrior Strike then. <laughs> there goes your pack. And back. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, my microphone decided to go into full chipmunk mode again. Yay. It's always great when it does that. Uh, right. Let's... Well, might as just do more fights, really. Yes. Strategy against skin... Okay, you are a magic user. Oh, it's like, uh, it's like we can't catch a break, really, isn't it? You're a magic user and you got an axe. Ow. Ow. Chop away at his feet. Chop away his legs. Get him. Okay, got rid of his pants at least. That's going to make this better. There you go. Got away with that one. Got away with that one. Good amount of money to be fair as well, which we're going to need when we eventually level up. Spark Ghoul will take on you. You don't have high attack. You're going to have high attack, aren't you? No, you're going to be an agility user. Okay, where's your bow? Do you have one? No, you're just gonna run away. I'm just gonna slowly walk towards you. You have just walked right into me. Well, <laughs> well, let's just say that happens. Okay, very nice, very nice. And we'll level up at the campfire since it is evening now, so might as well have got the most out of the day. Yeah, it's gonna be about management, about what you're gonna do throughout the day as well. Uh, let's get... I guess we get two-handed mastery at this point. Cause I do have a two-handed weapon right now, so... I wonder if that stacks, since it is technically an axe. Hmm. Interesting food for thought there. I also have a war axe as well, which is not as good. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. We'll go to the armorer, because I think I require a brigand vest to get rid of our noob loincloth. And I would like militia braces. Uh, brigand shoulder guards. I think we've already have we got all these already. Brigand sandals. Or well, brigand braces. We don't need right now. New blowing cloth. We don't need right now. We have brigand braces. We have militia braces. 
Oh, sandals and shoulder guards. Um, what we got? Sandals, shoulder guards. Yeah, we've got, we've got, the, we got the best stuff. We've got the best stuff in the game at the moment. So we can fight the regional champion here. Might as well. Regional champ number two is loading in to the arena. And that champion's name is... Tutti the Jovial. Look at him. Indeed. Okay, go on pale git. I mean, we haven't got this at all. Your power score is huge, but... Could give it a try. Yeah, this guy's very well armored. Very well armored. Apart from his head, that isn't very well armored. But attacking the head, as you can see, is the toughest to try and hit. That's a good start. You're sleeping for some reason. I don't know why you had lots. You had full essence, or close to full essence anyway. There goes your pants. You try to go for that. You're now stressed. Oh, ah, I did it again. Ah. Damn it. I'm so used to it being in that sp I'm so used to the exit out of your skills being in that spot. So used to it being in that spot. Ah. That's probably something I have to get used to, to be fair. I gained two stars overnight. Hurrah. Uh, no one having the fight. I want to challenge him again. Should have, should, should have been able to do it last time. But no, for some reason... Pale Git decides to just give up the fight randomly. So there you go. He's level 9, so... Doing this at level 7 would be a decent achievement. Okay. I wonder if I'm going to get as good luck as I did last time. Come over here. Come over here and say hello to me. Nope. Okay, never mind. That's fireball, and you missed. Good. Aha! Attack your legs! Nice. Now use the Warrior Strike. Nice. Physical damage. You're now stressed out. Good. You walk towards me. I attack you. I miss. Well, I get parried. I get miss. Oh, that's some damage to me. Ah. Oh. I am now calm. So are you, to be fair. Let's heal. Let's heal some essence. There you go. There goes your shoulder guard. We're slowly whittling away at your health. There goes your pants. Oh, you are hopeless now. Yes, you cannot use items in battle. I, mean, I don't think it would affect you too badly, because I don't think you use many. But yeah, that's pretty good for us. Yep, that's why yours, pretty much that's when your stress bar was up so high. Warrior Strike, yes. I'll do a bit quick rest here. Essentially, this replaces the battle trance from uh, from previous games. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of all your armor. At least try to. You can't use weapons anymore. You're hopeless. There you go. There goes all your armor. This guy's supposed to be like a jester or a clown or something, I think. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Ooh. Oh! Please don't tell me I... Okay. No, I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to go for it. Gun for it. Yes! We defeated the Jovial, but two levels lower. That's an achievement in itself, I'd say. That is an achievement in itself. So there you go. Champion of Shackleford. Champion of the Plains. The Pale Git. And I guess I'll take stars and gold. Not like it matters, because this is where the demo ends. Because we have defeated the two uh, regional champions, we are now invited to the Grand Arena of Doom Trek to challenge the first of the arena champions. This is where things would get interesting, but we're going to have to wait until May for that. But the demo is complete. I really like this demo, to be honest. Like something sort of 40 minutes. I really like this demo. Um, and. I like the fact that it seems like that there's a lot more to this game uh, that meets the eye and that 
Something that I unfortunately was not able to show was um, essentially removing limbs from your opponent, uh, which obviously makes things incre uh, uh, a lot more difficult for them. Uh, but I believe it's a very... It's very... It's not likely for it to happen, but... You know, there's, there's, there's things like that as well, which I think is uh, very interesting. The stress mechanic, I think, works great. Um, the fact that you have to use a bit more strategy in this sort of game uh, than you would in maybe some of the earlier Swords and Sandals. Uh, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to when this game comes out in early access in May. Um, and I'll certainly be, uh, be giving it a play. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. What do you think of the demo if you've played it? And if you haven't... Are you going to play it or are you going to wait for the early access to uh, to come out in May? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm Matt Strath and I'll see you for my next video in the future. I'll see you then.